What's up, everybody? So, uh, that video yesterday got me to thinking. And I've looked at some comments. I've, I've been looking at comments all over the place on uh, different videos, not just mine. And uh, a lot of people seem to be of the opinion that because it's a video game, because you're dealing with a simple, silly video game, there's no reason to boycott. Like, let's say a company executive says something you don't like, for instance, don't like it, don't buy it. To a lot of people, it doesn't make sense to boycott a potentially good game because of something one individual said. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that that doesn't make sense. Uh, other people say, um, who cares, it's World War II, it's not supposed to be historical, historically accurate, who cares if they put women in games. It's, it's pretty much, you know, it's, it's a game, you got a whole bunch of unrealistic shit going on, so now all of a sudden you're worried about historical accuracy. Again, makes sense. But people have different levels of what they call immersion. For something may be acceptable to me, while it's not acceptable to you. Something may seem immersion breaking for me, while it's not immersion breaking for you. Everybody's different, and this lies the complication with the gaming industry is you have to cater to everybody. You have to try to make everybody happy. And that just is impossible. You can't make everybody happy. If everybody likes you, if everybody you come in contact with likes you, I got news for you. You are a fake motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. I want to read a couple of comments to you from my videos. I'm not going to say the names. Uh, one guy I particularly, I, I like this guy. And, uh... I've, I've, I've seen him on my videos for a long time, but I did make a video one time addressing him. I don't even want to go there. I don't want him to think I'm picking on him because I'm not. It's just, he usually, he usually puts out some stuff that, you know, makes me think about stuff. Puts out stuff, makes you think about stuff. Yeah, real, real articulate there, buddy. Okay, this one reads, who gives a shit? Battlefield 5 looks great. I'm playing it. Gamers take shit too seriously. Play games to have fun, relax. Take mind off real life shit for a minute. Swear these gamers are loser nerds with no jobs putting too much time into caring what EA says. Play the game or not, stop bitching about what some executive says. Who's got time for that? Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that comment doesn't make sense to me. And we pick and choose what we let bother us. Especially if it's something that we like. Like, for instance, I even said, and some guy called me out and said it was hypocritical. Well, of course it was hypocritical. I told you I don't need a game, but yet I need to play Red Dead. <laughs> of course that was hypocritical. But the difference is, is I don't need to play all these different games. I'm, like, super hyped for two games. And that is Red Dead Redemption 2 and Doom Eternal. If you told me that no other games were coming out, I don't give two shits. I, I can take them or leave them. So I said people that don't give a shit about Battlefield 5. You do, so naturally, nothing they say you're going to care about. And he said, the last of us is going full SJW. Hate using that term. I hear you. Turned Ellie into a lesbo. Told old man Joel to F off, which is very, very depressing considering Joel was my favorite character. He didn't say that. I just said that. The devs have repeatedly disrespected their fans saying if you're not with us, then you're against us and don't buy the game. Do I like it? Hell no. Will I buy it? Hell yes. Don't have time to be mad over this shit. Game looks great. I'm buying it. Take what you can get nowadays when it comes to these games. F a movement. This is gaming. Not an effing factory that is overworking you with no pay. Protesting a game? LOL. The fuck. If it looks good, regardless of the dev's bullshit speech, don't buy it. Stop with the dumbass boycotts and form wars over games. LOL. <sighs> now see, this mentality, this mentality, and if you're watching this, who left the comment, you, you, I'm talking to you. This, this is a dangerous way to think because it starts out like this. You let a little bit of shit go, and then they keep pushing, 
and they keep pushing until finally you're left with a product that doesn't even resemble what it once was. For instance, look at Battlefield 3. Can we all agree that Battlefield 3 was a freaking spectacular game? I love Battlefield 3. Now look at Battlefield 5. And you know what? Battlefield 4 wasn't that far from 3, and it's like 5 is just a completely and totally different beast altogether. I don't even know what happened. It doesn't even resemble the same game. And I don't think it just has to do with pushing an agenda. I think it has to do with them taking from popular franchises. Like, you can build fortifications and shit uh, in Battlefield 5 now. Gee, where have I heard this before, you know? So a lot of games, Battlefield and Call of Duty used to lead the pack, I feel like, when it comes to shooters. Now, they're desperately trying to copy everybody, which is very ironic, if I do say so myself. Another comment that I want to read is, I don't have time to buy or play the game. And I think it was a perfectly reasonable response based on the fact that gaming community has gotten so toxic that no matter what you do that deviates even slightly from the so-called norm, race of characters, gender of characters, <coughs> excuse me, sexual characters will be met with hellfire and outrage. So I think the EA guy's response was simply from being fed up with all the negativity. And it's true. If you have a problem with female characters being on the front line in a video game, meant for entertainment, not to be intended to be historically accurate battlefield simulation in the first place, then don't buy it. Simple as that. Let me tell you why that mentality is wrong. Because they are a business. They are not held to the same standards as you and me. If me and you are debating about a game and you're bitching about something that I like... I tell you, don't like it, don't buy it, because I'm not selling anything to you. They are selling us something. We pay their bills for them, so they need to be real careful how they talk to us. We are the customer. Never forget that. I see so many people thanking these game developers. Oh, thank you so much for... You don't know. You don't thank them. You pay them your money. That's how you thank them. Now, you can be grateful that they're making some badass games like Doom Eternal and Red Dead 2 in a sea of garbage. You can be grateful, and how do you show that gratitude? By paying them your hard-earned money. These people are working for us. They are working for us to earn our money. I said this in a comment. If you went to a car wash and you weren't happy with the car wash, and you told the manager, hey, uh, this car still looks a little dirty, and he told you, well, if you don't like it, don't come back. You would never step foot in there again, ever again. It'd be done. So, just wanted to point that out to you. Never forget, you're running shit, not them. And I think somewhere along the, the way, we've forgotten that. Now, I want to close this out with a comment that really resonated with me. I found it on a Battlefield video, it's from a guy, uh, USS-DH, and I really liked it, listen, I, this was on a Battlefield video again, I wouldn't like it because there were plenty of good points made, but there was also a lot of stuff I frowned about, frankly, it could be less about the woman characters and the amputees, the way I see this is people game to escape real life, and seeing game developers capitulate to social justice demands only brings the taste of real life politics which again, they're trying to escape from, into the game itself, which completely sours the atmosphere of the game itself. There are few areas where politics, or there are very few areas where politics haven't penetrated as deeply into our lives, and to see one's virtual shelter torn asunder in the hurricane that is social justice, yeah, it will evoke some heated reactions. I don't feel like DICE or EA had to make this move. If it's just a trailer, I could get over it after a while. But if it's a woman out in France, not in the French Resistance, then I'd be a little surprised. I guess now that I think of it, and looking back on all that's happened these past few years, some folks are really touchy about this because it's not telling history the way that it was originally made, and that's the way that it should be told. I don't know about everywhere else, but here in America, we're tearing down statues, destroying the Ten Commandments, and putting people historically in places they never were. Aside from the blatant and bald-faced revisions that I've been seeing coming out from colleges and universities, it makes me wonder how much of our past will have to be forgotten just so everyone can be made comfortable with themselves. Hard parents of World War II raised hard children. 
Then these generations subsequently got softer, now we're in a period of destroying masculinity and tearing at the basic family structure. It makes me fear how long it would take on this current road we travel. Will, travel. Will I, or God forbid, my children see the total unraveling of society? God be with me the day my children ask what, what went wrong and what I did or didn't do to stop it. And, I, and here I am being told just to have fun and get over it. This is how a collapse can start. This is how a nation can end. All of this over a stupid video game. Now, if you really pay attention to that, if you really listen to that, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. And I'm sure there's still going to be those people, oh, whatever, it's just a game, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I, I understand. You like your video games. It's just like I said, which which was hypocritical. Red Dead 2, if they made some safe statements that made me uncomfortable, I would probably choose not to hear it at that given time. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a level to shit I'm going to eat or I'm willing to eat. But uh, that's pretty much all I got for you. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll holler at you later. Oh, and this is Splinter Cell Blacklist on the Xbox One backwards compatibility. If you do not have this game, get it. I'll let you guys later. Why did you run to the